Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, good afternoon. You know, we had another hot, dry day across the area. Some places hit into the 90s today, and we are watching this drought continue to worsen. This is today's drought monitor, and that severe to extreme drought is encompassing all of the coastal bend. There's a little patch here with just moderate drought north of Rockport, but all in all, we need some rain. Now, you probably heard that we do have that chance of rain in the forecast uh, anywhere from tonight through Sunday. The problem is it's not a lot. Potentially, it could be a lot if one of the thunderstorms that move overhead in our inland areas can dump uh, an inch of rain. But all in all, the potential is pretty for rain is uh, anywhere from a hundredth to a half an inch closer to the coast. And as you head inland, the numbers are higher because of the potential for thunderstorms. And as you know, those can produce heavier pockets of rain. So we'll hope for the best here. It's our watershed that would be nice to see some of those storms and the heavier downpours. Right now, it is very hot and it's windy in Corpus Christi right now. We have 91 at Alice, but Corpus Christi at 85 and Port Aransas 76. And those winds still today again up to 30 miles an hour in Corpus Christi sustained. So it's really blowing out there across the area from the south southeast, keeping our temperatures quite warm. So tonight we're back down only to 71 degrees for lows. It's a summer like night across the area. There may even be some thunder, especially if our in our inland areas, a few spotty storms and showers will move in, possibly making it to the coast by early morning tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll see that chance of a few showers and storms again as the cold front starts to move into the area. But before the front gets here, it's still going to be warm tomorrow. Not like today, but we'll still make it into those 80s in some spots before we see those winds shift around late in the day. High temperatures for your Friday with that chance of a shower or storm reaching 80 to 86, uh, mainly in our inland and southwest counties north upper 70s and Corpus Christi 81 before that front arrives. This is Saturday and you can see Saturday afternoon. It's a lot different. We're looking at upper 60s and low 70s, but that's very temporary. By Sunday, we're reaching back into the 80s again. That warm front moves through. We have a Pacific front. This is the one we've been tracking across the state and a secondary front to the north. This is the one that's got the colder air with it. This is going to meet up with our Pacific front and push through tomorrow by tomorrow night and then we'll have that brief cooling ahead of the front. We've got widespread area here of the severe storm potential for tonight. In fact, uh, looking for a pretty good outbreak across the Midwest tonight. For us, you see we're in this green. That's a marginal risk of severe storms, meaning we could have an isolated severe storm with da damaging wind or large hail tonight. But again, the better chance is going to be in brush country and in the Rio Grande. Here's future tracker. You can see right there by midnight, potentially a few storms pulling across the area. As they move toward the coast, though, they start to weaken by early morning Friday. Friday afternoon scattered, very widely scattered, meaning hit and miss. Some of you may be missed by the rain Friday, but nevertheless, that chance is there for some light showers to Friday night into Saturday, and then that front will start to move back to the north and we'll start drying out and heating back up on Sunday. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Then we are going to see that brief break for Saturday. Better chance we'll see some rain. Still low rain chances are hit and miss Saturday, but a little bit better. 70 for the high back up to 80 on Sunday. Hot and humid in some places next week. Corpus Christi reaching into the upper 80s by Wednesday and that humidity is with us all week long. We'll have more news coming up right after this.